Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So this is a bit of an update video as to why we haven't really posted a video in a couple of weeks. Um, it's been a while. It's been a little while, so let's, let's chat about this for a minute. Well, as I'm sure you can tell from our surroundings, we're not in the Jeep. We've had a series of unfortunate events unfolding with the Jeep and ended up uh, buying a truck to get us by for the time being. And we're not sure what direction we're going to take with the Jeep after all of this. So, yeah, let us uh, let me get on the open road here and we'll talk a little bit more about it. So what ended up happening was uh, when we bought the Jeep, it had a brand new transmission in it. And it was all fine. It was all good. But then I noticed it started getting some spongy shifts. So I called for warranty and Dodge refused to honor the warranty. They said the transmission warranty was untransferable from the previous owner to myself. So it kind of forced my hand. We ended up having to do a transmission. I had Dodge put it in and we supplied a, a rear main seal from a local auto parts supplier, a pretty big Canadian chain, and that rear main seal failed. And obviously, you know, when a rear main seal fails, you leak a lot of oil. So we ended up having to drop the transmission, put a new rear main seal in, and it was fine, everything was good. And then we were driving from, from Kamloops, from the zoo out there, and we blew out a rear axle seal. And it happened to leak all over the brakes and ended up igniting on the wheel. And that was fun. So we ended up having to pull over and, you know, extinguish what we could and salvage what we could, managed to get it out and decided at that moment that, uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I think I'm pretty much done with the Jeep. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit here about uh, the practicality of a Jeep. So the Jeep, I mean, if you're buying a Jeep, you're probably not buying it for fuel economy, but I'll be honest, I was kind of blown away how terrible it was on fuel and I don't know if that was just mine or if that's just a Jeep thing but living in a mountainous area with lots of surrounding hills um, I was lucky if I was sitting about 19 liters per hundred kilometers I'm not sure what that equates to miles per gallon I will do the math and put that up on the screen but yeah it's uh, it wasn't all that good on fuel it wasn't practical for a family of this size, we couldn't put our bikes inside it. We had to get a, a carrier and putting, you know, two adult bikes and two kids bikes on the back. I'm going to be honest, it was, it was almost like the end of the world. The, the Jeep could feel that couple hundred pounds. You know, the rack, the rack was what weighed the lot, but, or the rack is what weighed the most. Um, our bikes, Shia's and my bike don't weigh very much, but you could see it. You could see the squat in the Jeep, and I, I imagine my coils were probably wearing out, but yeah, it was um, just not practical. It's it's great if you want to just take it off-road, and you plan on doing that you know, more and, often than and not. And if you have another truck. And, and if you have another truck, it would be the ideal situation, but using it as a daily driver and off-roading it, I, I wouldn't recommend it for a family of four. I mean, maybe a family of three, you know, with one child and two adults, but I'm a single dad of three, and it just, it's not practical. It wasn't, it wasn't all that good. I thought we were gonna gain a lot of viewership from having Jeep content on there, but after looking at the analytics to my channel, it doesn't seem as so. So, um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with that. We're gonna, for the time being, we're just gonna wheel this truck. I mean, this is a 03 F350 with the six liter. It sounds been, sick. It sounds sick. It's been bulletproofed, EGR delete, uh, coolant filtration, uh, ARP head studs, new injectors. Um, I honestly can't even remember what else has been done to this thing. Everything's been done to this thing. So, until we decide what direction to go with the heap, I mean Jeep, we are gonna just keep the, the Ford truck going. So yeah, stay tuned to the channel. We're gonna be doing some cool stuff. I've actually already got uh, exhaust lined up. So if you wanna see that, 
we're gonna be doing that in the next coming days i've got a few uh interior electrical issues to fix on this truck that i will be covering and it's kind of one of those things where it crosses a lot of platforms for multiple vehicles so we're gonna do that but the kids seem to like this and a jeep just isn't all that practical for a family this size especially if you want to go for a bike ride or shia likes to go out on his dirt bike it, it becomes kind of a big deal to try to take it anywhere so i think uh building up a truck for off-roading is going to better suit our family needs don't get me wrong the jeep was cool we had some fun trips in it we couldn't tow anything we just we couldn't tow it that was the other thing you know we have i have access to a, a trailer and we can't even tow the the camper it just it the jeep just can't do it so at least with the truck we'll throw a canopy on there throw the dirt bike the bikes and when we go out into bear country you can still sleep in the back of the truck you don't have to worry yeah we may even go the direction of getting some quads we're not sure but so yeah we'll do a bit of a walk around on the truck in an upcoming video like i said i've got a few mods lined up already that shy and i are going to take care of later on this week so all in all I'm, I'm excited for what the future holds now and i'm not going the direction of a jeep oh and one more other thing so we had a company that uh, had reached out through instagram and youtube in providing a lift for my jeep i was all gung-ho and ready to go as i mentioned way back in one of my videos that i was talking to a company but well long story short they thought i was a different youtuber so when it came time to actually you know put it into play and collaborate a little bit for lack of better words um, they realized i was a different youtuber and said because i didn't have the following that they were unwilling basically to collab with me and that kind of to be honest broke my heart a little bit and kind of crushed my spirit you know having all these plans to work with these guys and they were great talking i mean they're a great company they were very big uh, suspension company I'll, I'll leave it at that i'm not going to say who they were because you know who knows what the future holds but yeah i was i was pretty disappointed in the way that unfolded but what can you do right so we'll lift the truck we'll do it on our own accord on our own dime 35s put some 35s on it i mean it's got 33s right now but let's be honest an f-350 on 33s no, is not cool no. We need 37. Yeah, I agree with him. Yeah, stay with us. I mean, we're excited to have you guys here. We appreciate all you guys sticking around. Um, definitely going to have some Jeeps on the channel still, if that's what you're into. I have lots of friends that have Jeeps. So we're going to be wheeling with them, and it will be kind of fun because it'll be Jeep versus Ford. So And Tacoma. And, and Tacoma. So it'll be kind of fun to see how each vehicle can handle the ground. Maybe so. even a dog. Yep, maybe. Actually, there will be a Dodge. My brother actually picked up a Dodge. Oh, Jesse bought okay. a Dodge Dakota. Yes, I forgot actually all about that. He just bought it the other day. So I thought he still had his... Uh... No, he sold the Ford. So yeah, it should be... Not should be, it's going to be good. I'm really excited. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. Stay tuned, YouTube.